Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. We have just come back from a one hour walk. A lovely walk. A lovely, lovely walk. walk. It is now 8.45. We're just having a coffee. Then we're going to make some breakfast. Jack is heading up to Brisbane today in the van. It is the probably the coolest van yes. I've ever seen. Like it's literally the aesthetic of the van reminds me of my house. It's crazy. Like a couple just built it themselves. Oh, like they so spent it's like a private smoke. Just... I'll try and get a video of that and a video of the company name because when you see it, you'll be like, "Fuck, that's cool." But yeah, yeah, totally. yesterday I was sick, and I mentioned that in my last video. I have woken up today even more sick, which is fabulous. So I took some medicine for that. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better actually, which is good. So I'm just gonna try and keep on top of that. We actually have another house inspection today. So I'm trying to like cover my face and realize I was covering him. <laughs> Got another house inspection hopefully today. I find out at like 9.30 a.m. if that's gonna go ahead. So that could be potentially really exciting. But yeah, we're just taking it chill, getting some vitamin D in. And I'll see you later. It's so freaking cool. Like, what the heck? It's probably nicer than my apartment at this point. Like, they got a full fridge, full, like, oh, uh, like, that's so cool. Even the driving cabins, like, you could so do. I would love. Yeah, I reckon it's sick. Okay, so I'm 20 minutes deep in my cardio. Now I'm going to show this. There's a fucking fan. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm here at the gym. Happy Monday, guys. I'm buffed out. Quick PSA with my cardio. I don't go below 70 rounds. I like to be above 75. If I'm below 70, I'm lazy. Whew. 11 minutes to go. This is so hard while I'm sick. <laughs> okay. I know I said I wasn't going to talk today. My voice is still absolutely ridiculous. But I am on a solo dog free walk. I have a solo night planned. I mean, it's literally just going to be work. I may do a face mask, but I have had one of the most anxiety ridden days that I've had in a very long time. We did go to a house inspection. We did get approved and then I retracted the offer within half an hour. It just seemed too quick. It seemed counterintuitive to our long-term goals. I mean, we're getting married, we're going to South America, we got a honeymoon. So there is a lot of things to put into consideration. And actually, I am so lucky that my fiance is who he is. And he pretty much told me to book flights go to Melbourne for five days. So I'm actually flying out tomorrow at 3 p.m. So I do have a really busy day tomorrow, um, but I am going back to Melbourne for, from yeah, from Wednesday to Monday night. No, Monday night or Tuesday night, I can't even remember. I literally just booked it. This guy just looked at me like I was a fucking idiot. We're debriefing, bro. <laughs> but yeah, so I just needed to get out. I am very behind in my day as well. I literally had like 7,000 steps before I started this walk. I'm actually hitting 17,000 steps, so this will be a big walk. But just a reminder that what you see on Instagram, the perception you have of someone on Instagram, I was smiling at the gym and that was an hour before everything went downhill. It's not always the reality. So. I've had it been used against me before posting things on there when in reality my situation is a lot different so this is just a little reminder everyone is going through something no one is perfect if someone claims they are perfect punch them in the face because they're fucking lying so <laughs> I'm so aggressive how pretty is the view I'm so lucky where I live like that's all Olympic Park guys Good morning. <laughs> We've all slept in today. Oh, I'm not allowed to touch Alex. It's hers. It's hers. 
Olivia going for a walk? She doesn't actually know what that means. Go for a walk? Hello? <laughs> Are you smiling? Are you happy? Are you just showing? No zoomers today, big girl. Go on. Oh, there we go. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are just finishing up our walk. It's been about a half an hour walk in tow. <sighs> when I say this morning we slept in, we didn't really. It was like instead of getting up at 10 to 7, we got up at like 10 past 7. It was a nice little family moment that we had. <laughs> um, so Alex has gone to work now. I am walking the dog. I, I, I actually did, yeah, I was trying to think if I mentioned that I'm going to Melbourne today. I am. So I have a physio appointment at 9.30. Need to be at the airport by one. Trying to work out if I'll have time to train today or if I switch tomorrow's rest day to today. Just to ensure that I don't miss my flight because that would fucking suck. Um, in terms of sickness, I, the thing is, I feel fine. It is just my voice. So, that's a whole fucking thing in itself. I'm going to go to the chemist now as well. Get some medicine. And, yeah. I'm also going to take my check-in photos today for Rob. Because tomorrow I will be not at home. So, who knows what my situation will be. But, yes, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm just, like... I don't know, there's something about the feeling of going home this time that I feel like we're closing up an era over there. There's a lot going on that I've never shared and I probably won't share. It's not my my news to share. Um, so yeah, we're definitely closing up an era there. So I think a bit of mixed emotions around that, but it'll be good to be there. I'm getting to see both of my grandmas as well. I'm so freaking excited. One of them's in a nursing home seeing her on Saturday and then my yeah I will go and visit at her house she doesn't know I'm coming so I'm going to surprise her she'll probably freak out um yeah she's there she's been good I'm good Alex is good happy Wednesday I'm so freaking excited. I'm so happy compared to yesterday I feel so much better we could probably just see it in like I'm not mopey <laughs> Anyway, I'm literally getting into my front door now. And I'll see you when I see you. I'll kick the main set off. Ooh. I've arrived in Melbourne. It is five o'clock. I am freaking starving. I'm waiting to get picked up. But I feel like it's gonna be a little bit before anyone gets here. So I'm just gonna eat my meal now and not be hangry because I can feel I'm about to snap because I'm fucking starving and cold. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my meal. People are staring. I'm literally I'm so cold. I am a bit pissed. It is 10 to 8 and I'm on my way to the gym to finish my steps. I have 7,000 steps to do and not getting them done is not an option. So I actually did get to spend a few hours with my niece, the main reason I always come to Melbourne is to spend time with her. So I did see her, I was with her for dinner, her bath time, and she's actually just gone to bed. So I am now about to pull up at the gym, probably my least favorite gym in all of Melbourne, but it's the only one that I knew was open at this hour and would have plenty of treadmills for me to get on. So. God damn it. And you see me. Say hi. Like, the sun's not even awake yet. That's pretty. Coming up. So I was awake at 6.15. I woke up a little bit early, actually. I didn't wake up at all during the night. Like, not to pee or anything, which was crazy for me. But it's pitch black. Normally, it's like a full sun right now. Birds chirping. Like, you would have seen yesterday, Oliver's running around at the park. That was at the same time as it is right now. <laughs> so that's what the fuck. 
But anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs see my mom, show her my new lifestyle that I'm awake early for her. I, I was late. The reason I'm so mind blown about me being up at like 10 to seven every day and why I make it such a big deal. Guys, I was late every single day of year 12. So our like homeroom started at nine to nine thirty uh, or nine. I think it was nine like fifteen. I think it was fifteen minutes. I was late every single day of year twelve, every day, because I wouldn't get up in the morning. So now we can all celebrate with me. But this is the first time I've ever actually worn my Woody. So I have one in Melbourne and one in Sydney. Yes, excessive. I know they were both gifts. But, like, I actually am not hating it. Last prep I wore, and it like, felt like it was, like, crumbling me. But this is good. I need to go find my slippers. I think my mom took my own boots. But anyway, I'm going to go see her now. Bye. I'll show you April. Oh, I saw her last night. <sighs> All right. I'm so happy. Bye. Hi. <laughs> I miss you so much. <laughs> so, I thought I would do a quick little grocery haul. Just but like what I got for while I'm here. I pretty much based this around completely covering myself till the weekend. And then on the weekend, I'll reassess again. But I literally just got like all my basics, all my like essentials. I've never bought meat like this, but it was the only rump that they had. As well, it's like... I bought like individual ones of these so I don't have wastage. I hate wasting food. Um, like I have pretty much zero waste at home when it's me and Alex. So these are my, like these will be my meals. Mum has some of my, my basics as well, like oats. Mum has pretty much oats. Mum has that's it. But yeah, these are going to be my meals. Super lucky. I get that I'm in like my family home, my childhood home. So, like, it is a bit easier, but again, like, I just approach it as I would anything else. Like, if I was going away, I would first thing in the morning go to the supermarket as well. So, it's like, if you are going away, it is easy to stay on track. I mean, for me, it's a little bit different. I won't be having any meals off plan. But if you were going away, it was super easy to stay on track with, like, 80% of your nutrition and 20% you can enjoy it. You don't need to be eating like a dick if you're going away for every meal breakfast is not really that exciting you can have your normal breakfast you can get a bit of a lower calorie option if that's what you want to do in saying this if you want to go away and eat like a dick all four meals go for it this is just like if you're going away with a goal of fat loss in mind it can be done It is so strange being back here. I actually just cried. I literally walked here every day of my prep last year. And coming back, I feel so different. Like I feel, I don't know. This is very overwhelming. And I didn't think it would be. Oh, I just texted his mom like, what do you think of this? Oh my God. Is he passed out? Tell me you're fucking COVID. Back to reality straight away. But no, I did. I just got a little bit emotional walking here around here. But I'm okay. I love this park. Alex and I actually had a date in this park. There's a man there. I'm like, I'm not going up to him. In fact, if you learn anything living here, is don't approach people in the park. But I'm very grateful that I came back grateful to myself for making the decision to come back yeah don't know just wanted to come in and say this is where I'm at movie day Go. <laughs> 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 
Good morning. Happy Friday. We fucking love a weekend when especially when I have actually got fun things planned for the weekend. Oh my god, okay, that's not working. Let me just hold it. So I just finished up at the gym. I am training at Durham in Airport West, which I think I mentioned at some point since I've been in Melbourne. It's actually okay when you come like I was training by like 8 15 i didn't go for a morning walk i just got up um spent the, like a little bit of the morning with mom got dressed and came straight here just because i am babysitting again today i am with Mila again all day today which i don't see her often so when i do get the chance to just spend the whole day with her i love it it is hard as well i am still a little bit sick um, I am very fatigued. I, I'm down today from Monday alone, 2.2 kilos. So my body is fatiguing quickly. So, I mean, she goes for a nap and she does nap for most of it. So it's fine. But then Gigi can't nap. <laughs> anyway, gonna go get coffee now. Gotta go to my brother-in-law. We need to go and like do like a whole thing with the cars. And then I'll be at my sister's for the majority of the day. I need to go get my hair washed. I haven't done my hair in a week. Yes, I wash my hair weekly. Gonna get my nails done because they're atrocious. But I have good vibes. I have good vibes today. Yesterday, I was very like, yesterday was just a day of like, really, really reflecting on a lot of things, just coming to terms with a lot of things and all of that. Today, I am high vibe. I am fucking pumped. I am so prep, like, so ready for the next, like, the last seven weeks of my prep. I am just hyped. And as I'm filming this, my coach just messaged me the most hyped up message ever. So I'm fucking excited. Anyway, I'm going to go buy a coffee, head to their, my brother in law's house, and I will see you when I'm having a dance party with Miller. I love you. Bye, kiss. Blue kiss. Blue kiss. Blue kiss. Good girl. <laughs> Alright. Dance party didn't fucking happen. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so fatigued. We have been in the car. It is now like 10 to 3. I've done 3,500 steps. We've been in the car most of the day driving around. And I need a nap. My ear is fucking killing me. I'm <sighs> unable to talk. I've had two meals. I have I have to walk. Like I have to finish my steps. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna get them done, but I'm gonna do this walk. Go home. Go like go to my mom's. Sleep, and then probably go to a shopping centre tonight to finish my steps but wow well, if this isn't the reality of prep I don't know what is <laughs> good morning happy Saturday love the weekend Today is actually going to be such a fun day. I am seeing both my grandmas today. I am out walking. It is freezing. I am dressed like I am at the snow because <laughs> like I literally have gloves on and everything because it's so fucking cold. Also, sorry, I've sworn so much in this, this vlog compared to the last, but <laughs> whatever. I swear, I have a potty mouth. My sister tells me off all the time. I try my best. <laughs> But I had a little rain today. I, it's so strange, right? This is why. Did you see her? Can you see her? What the fuck? <laughs> Swore again. So, last week I mentioned that my, the belief in myself was low. I wasn't feeling super confident. Hold on, there's some mammals coming past. Do you know what a mammal is? Do you remember that commercial? Middle-aged man in life. Huh? Huh? <coughs> Still sick. Okay. <coughs> Focus day. So, last week I mentioned that the self-belief I have in myself was low. 
I never felt like I would be ready. I felt like I was so far out. I felt like I was going to have to announce that I wasn't competing anymore, right? And it's just crazy that within a few days, what day was that? I feel like that was on Thursday. I had that conversation in my last video, which I'll link below if you haven't watched. Go watch so you understand what I'm saying. But then today, with I'm down two and a half plus kilos this week and I'm so motivated so it's like it's crazy because in prep you don't listen to your brain you just keep going you listen to your coach same thing should go for my clients when you are feeling like you don't aren't going to make it and you feel like the plan isn't working talk to your coach about it tell your coach about it and work with your coach through that that is definitely what I do I am a coach myself, but I lean on my coach as well. And he, if he was to retaliate and be like, no, like you can't be, I'm not answering these questions. That's a bad coach. If your coach isn't there to talk to you through the tough moments, not even just in prep, in life, like throughout your journey as well, potentially time to get a new coach. But I feel like this was a really big ramble for a Saturday morning at 7am, but that's what we're doing. Yeah, alright, then you can listen too. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is cute as heck. So we've had the porridge. Tell me you have a year yeah without telling me you have a year yeah. <laughs> Literally have left with a tomato. Today has been hectic. We've been non-stop. That's a really bad. Oh. Ah! <laughs> really bad. Like, let, let's just say this. I can get ready to drive. I'm not even driving. Cool. So, whew, today has been crazy. We knew it was going to be crazy in the morning. You're like half in it. I don't know if you want to be in it or not, but we got our nails did. They're very cute. Now I am going to Zoe's house. What? 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 She throw it at Are you throwing it at my car? Oh. <laughs> Bye. Sorry. And I am going now to spend the night with Miller because it is storming oh, clearly. Okay. Yeah, where are your grandchildren? Yeah, it's true. Fuck it, oh! <laughs> your grandkids! Yeah, it's true. it's true. We're all getting married, mate. Sod, bro. <laughs> this person's gonna hit me. But, I left with a tomato. A tomato? <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not picking up the camera again because my friend's about to die. Bye. Happy Sunday! I'm just getting ready to leave the house. I am late to be fair. I was meant to leave the house 15 minutes ago. <laughs> anyway, so I've gone to the gym this morning already. I have done my cardio. I sat in the sauna actually for 15 minutes because I'm still feeling really sick. Probably a little bit more sick today than I have since I fell sick. But I'm going to the footy. I am with my dad and my sister, so we have to be in the city at 2, no it starts at 2, we have to be in the city at 12, sorry, <laughs> can't believe I literally just did that in my camera when there's a mirror here, but <clears throat> I've woken up today, just trying to tan myself a little bit, feeling really sick, like I have been feeling sick and I have been sick, right, today i feel it. And I don't know if that's because I've had a really hectic few days. Um, 
and I haven't really slept that much. I haven't slept long. Probably all of these things combined adding up. But yeah, this session, like this morning, I did it with no food, no caffeine. And that was a dumb decision. And I was there at 7.30 this morning, so just put it on blush. I reckon the majority of my makeup is expired. <laughs> Honestly, I think I bought this when I worked at Disney. So what year was that? That was 2017 I worked in Disney. <laughs> so that's a big gross, right? What am I putting on this? Do I do that Yeah, I literally just use the Mecca Max BB Cream. It is probably the lightest coverage. I not really want, don't want a foundation right that looks super super heavy and super like tacky on my skin. Like I just don't like that feeling anymore. So that's been perfect. Shower my brows pretty much daily. All I do though. Is my brows, just brush them up. Right, and mascara. That's all I do every single day. Today, <laughs> BB cream is a little bit of a, a luxury. Fab, fab remove. She puts glasses on me. But yeah, like I was saying, I am going to the footy today with my dad and my sister. This is the fit, my room's a mess. But yeah, I need to go because I'm actually late. I'm meant to be there now, but. I feel so sick. I got my food, but we're going. I almost pulled out, I won't lie, but I'm here. Stage is pumped. Stage is a big footy fan, I'm not. I'm just like, I somewhat pretend I know what's going on. And I do get into it sometimes, but yeah. That's fine. It'll be fine. At least I'm sitting inside today. I'm not sitting out in the cold because it's fucking freezing. <sighs> okay. I will we get inside. <laughs> of my Sunday evening guys I am just cooking dinner I'm having steak pumpkin broccoli pickles for dinner but I am home alone I've washed my hair I'm in my pajamas I'm literally about to sit on the couch right at the biggest to-do list of things that I need to do over the coming like couple weeks in terms of planning flights for shows finalizing things for our wedding finalizing things for our trip overseas finalizing things for my team photo shoot i have a lot coming up and i think as well that's part of the reason why i was getting so overwhelmed but that is what i'm going to do tonight i'm going to plan 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 and just unwind because i feel like it's going to be another hectic week um but yeah that's pretty much it i think i'm going to close out this video hopefully you enjoyed another weekly vlog my second weekly vlog back i am absolutely loving filming them i love the process of creating videos and photography and videography pretty much not creating videography creating videos and photography and videography it's what I studied straight out of high school. It is something that I've always loved doing and it's not like I do this in order to get the most views on YouTube or compete with anyone or anything like that. I do it because I love it. It's a platform that I enjoy consuming. It's a platform that I enjoy creating for. I love the process of editing videos as well. So it's all just a really fun, it's really fun to me and I'm, I am spend a lot of time alone and I think that, that really does show in these videos how much time alone I do spend so it is like I have another friend always with me someone to talk to when I'm struggling when I'm having a win I can document it and it feels like I'm sharing it with someone even though <laughs> I may not be but anyway I want to say thank you for watching hopefully I see you in the next video if you did like it please like this video please subscribe as well I'm nearly at 100 subscribers which is such a small milestone but it is a milestone and it is something that I will celebrate so 
hopefully after this video goes live i can hit the 100 subscriber mark and hopefully you had a good week go thrive and i'll see you in the next video <laughs> Oh, wow.